Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install NVM on Windows. NVM is the Node version manager and allows us to quickly switch between Node.js versions in case we need to run different Node.js versions in our development or programming projects. Now, unfortunately, it's not that easy to switch Node.js versions if you don't use something like the Node version manager. So this makes it much easier to switch between different versions. I'm going to show you how to install and set that up on Windows and we are going to walk through it step by step. As you guys know, we always provide a written tutorial that goes along with our videos, which makes it easier for you guys to follow along with our instructions. I leave the link to this article in the video description below. You can also click on it in your upper left corner if you watch this on Humix. Now, uh, you can go to cosec.com and then uh, search for install NVM or just click in the link in the video description. And uh, because I show the reason why I show you this article is, if you scroll down a little bit in here, um, then you see the most important NVM commands. I'm going to show you this in the video too, but just in case you want to pull that up while you follow along with the video, it makes it a little bit easier to copy and paste the commands than to type anything or everything in manually. And you can see you can navigate to the install NVM on Windows uh, section here, and I'm going to follow that tutorial step by step in this video. All right, let's go. So NVM doesn't directly support Windows, but there is a different package that is recommended by the official uh, NVM GitHub repository and that's called NVM-Windows and if we open that up, we can see that it's a legit project that is used by many people. It has 24,500 GitHub stars and is actually recommended by Microsoft, the NPN team and Google that this is the best version manager to use on Windows. Now to install that, um, we first need to download the package and the link is in the written article. I'll leave it also in the video description. So you need to open that up and there is a button download now. I have linked this releases link inside of the article so you can just click on this. Then you have to scroll down a bit until you find uh, the latest version. That's the latest version here. So it's 1.1.10 as of early December 2022. If you scroll down a little bit, you find the nvm setup.exe file. And I zoom in for you guys a little bit so you can see better. nvm minus setup.exe. So we click on that file to download it. Then once it's downloaded, we open it up. Should just take a couple of seconds. Then we agree. We agree the license agreement. We just leave everything on default. It's really quickly to install it. And you do not need to have Node.js installed at all on your computer previously to following this video uh, or prior to following this video. Uh, you can just install it while we are going through this video. Now that we have NVM installed, we want to confirm if it worked, if we have access to NVM. And to use NVM on Windows, we need to use PowerShell. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to press my Windows key and I'm going to type in PowerShell and I'm going to open Windows PowerShell. And once I have PowerShell open, I try to make it a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see that better. I actually don't know how to do that on the default uh, PowerShell window. I think it's on properties. Just give me one second here. We do font size, let's do 28. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, now you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. All right, so we do NVM and we just type in NVM here and then we see that NVM is in fact installed. We can also run NVM minus minus version and we see that the version 1.1.10 is in fact installed. Now on Windows, the commands are a little bit different than on Linux and on macOS, so you can look that up in the written article. But on Windows, to install the latest version of Node.js, we can go and type nvm install latest. And actually, before we run that, let's quickly check um, nvm list. And we don't have Node.js installed at all at this moment, so you can see that I'm just installing Node.js from scratch. So we do nvm install latest. And that is then downloading the latest version as of now, which is 19.2.0. And it's downloading it, extracting it, and then probably using it automatically as well. 
In some cases, we have to still run another command. It just takes a couple of seconds. So this is going to install Node.js and NPM. So you will also have the Node package manager available for your development needs. You can see Node has been downloaded and installed, but we are not actively using it yet. It actually tells us here installation complete if you want to use this version type NVM use. So we have to do NVM use and then the version, the exact version number here. And we do that. And then it's giving us another uh, warning here. And uh, if we click yes, then we should be able to use or we should be using Node version 19.2. Oh, and to check that, to verify that, we can do node minus minus version. And if we do that, we should get the version that we have currently installed and used. And now if we do another NVM list, we also see that we are having this version installed and we are currently using the 64-bit executable. Now, if you want to install the LTS version of node, that is equally easy. So we can do, I'm just going to clear the screen here for a sec. And then we can do NVM install LTS, which stands for long term, long time support, long term support. And it's doing the exact same thing. It's downloading it, but it's not using it by default. It's not activating it by default. As you can see, again, if you want to use that, we do NVM use 18.2.1. And then we need to agree to another warning here from uh, user account control. And now we are using node. So if we do node, minus minus version again, then it takes a bunch of seconds. And then it tells us that we in fact using the LTS version of node, which currently is 1812.1. Okay, so now we should already be familiar with all the commands and how to use them. Now, what is if we want to install a specific version of node, there are a couple of ways to go about this. But the easiest way is to run NVM list and followed by available. So if we do that, we can see that uh, we see a bunch of LTS versions, we, we see a bunch of current versions, and uh, we can also pull up more in the older versions if we navigate to this link as it's suggesting it for us here. Now let's assume we want to use a older LTS version of Node.js or a older current version. Um, let's go for a older LTS version, then we can just simply do NVM install and then the exact version number. So if we do 16, 14.1, for example, then it's exactly going to download this Node.js version number. And uh, we can then just go ahead and switch the version. And okay, it's installed. Let's do a quick NVM list to verify that we have now in fact three versions of Node Ver, uh, of Node.js installed. And then we can simply do NVM use 16, 14 point one and install it. And within a couple of seconds, we are using the desired node version. Now again, this is much more difficult if you don't use node version manager, because you would have to manually uninstall a current version from your Windows system, then you would have to install uh, an older version that you need to download first someone manually. So it takes a bunch of time to do that. Whereas using something like node version manager makes everything much easier and Definitely the recommended way to go. Again, if you need to install that also on macOS, Linux, um, or WSL2, uh, then you can pull up this article. We have instructions for all of these operating systems, and um, that should get you up and running. All right, guys, I hope that video helped. I hope I could or I was able to help you to install NVM and understand NVM. I recommend you pulling up the article and checking out at least the important, most important NVM commands here uh, so that you are more familiar with that. And uh, yeah, that's that for that video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.